Tensai Shitara Slime Data Ken Chapter 122, Fate is Arranged. Fritz's Perspective Receiving a signal from Hanada, Fritz moved to the corner of the classroom to protect the children. He looked down at the schoolyard from the classroom window from the third floor of the building and he pictured in his mind the escape route. To Fritz, Hanada's orders were absolute. He would never think of resisting. Because Hanada's prediction was always correct without any mistakes except for the recent Demon Lord Purge War. It can only be said that the opponent that time was too strong. Therefore, escaping with the children as ordered this time was the right decision to make. Fritz could understand that bringing back the children and information was a primary concern, he now thought that the children and himself would become a burden for Hanada. However, blindly obeying orders without considering the reason was not possible, so Fritz carried a feeling of torment. Or rather, it was Fritz's intuition that made him think so. And as a result, Fritz and the children will make a successful escape, or so they should. Hanada's point of view. Hanada knew the whole perspective by looking from above thanks to her spatial sense. At the window were Fritz and four children. She had to protect these objects, she couldn't let everyone get caught up in the battle. The hero walked slowly from the door near the corridor to the chair in front of Yuki. The hero's ability was similar to hers or more. The story of the hero who imprisoned the dragon-like storm wind dragon Veldora that she saw when she attacked Tempest was the most popular. Will I be able to defeat that dragon? According to Hanada's calculations, her chances of winning against storm dragon Veldora were low. Even if there was no chance of victory, if she thought about it carefully. The hero had only just woken up from a few decades of deep sleep and it could be assumed that the hero had not yet attained his normal state. Furthermore, due to Yuki's control, the hero might not be able to use his full strength. If only she had to restrain her then it might be possible. Those were the things Hanada calculated. Hanada sheathed her katana and took a stance. And then, she slashed a line in front of her, without moving from her position, the blade was extremely fast. The divine consciousness binding slash, Hanada said. The bright light concealed it. An uncountable number of spirit bodies gathered on the blade part and transformed into countless blades which were released as a soul control attack. The soul essence was converted into countless blades with the same effect as the amulet. It's a technique that binds the divine consciousness that contains the soul rather than the body. One of Hanada's hidden attacks that block the opponent's movements as soon as the shock wave from the Batujutsu quick sword draw is triggered. That katana was part of a soul weapon. That was an armament made from materialized soul power. Because of that, the sharp edge of the katana was shining brightly. This is a viable option that does not make the opponent guess the trick because it replaces the amulet and mediator for the transfer of spirits. This action would give a huge advantage in a battle between the adepts. But, Otto, Yuki said, Hero. He blurted it out jokingly, but his reaction didn't show any concern. Yuki parried the shockwave with the knife he had chin in his hand. It was called the Serpent Sword, a unique legendary class weapon that Yuki possessed. This weapon has flexibility. Even if it is used as a knife, it can be stretched and used as a whip because this weapon has a property that allows it to freely change its own shape. It, but, more than its status and effectiveness as a legendary class weapon, it had an ability to absorb a fixed amount of damage. Until it reaches its limit, the knife can cancel all attacks it takes. However, once its capacity reaches the threshold, it becomes unusable until a week after being recycled. This time, Yuki used its ability while he was sitting. The knife did not fail to absorb the entire shockwave. Huh? Can't move anymore. Who knows, I'll leave the battle to you, Yuki said. Although the shockwave itself was suppressed, a blade pierced Yuki's shadow and the restraining effect was activated. However, there was no panic on Yuki's face. While sitting on the chair, motionless, he started calling out. Yuki ordered the hero to fight Hanada. Strangely, his behavior was a bit unusual, she certainly didn't miss anything, observing from the very beginning. On the other side is the hero. The hero showed a defensive stance with superior sword skills to intercept the blades one by one, even though this was the first time the hero had seen Hanada's attack. Her beautiful expression remained unchanged, without any inhumanity or contempt for her opponent on her face. Clear. However, I will kill people, is that okay? The hero said. 
The hero immediately accepted Yuki's request. And right in front of Hanada, the hero asked back as if it was a given thing. Alright, it seems that Hanada won't become a subordinate. You know what, right? Yuki said. I got it. Then, at least I'll give her the least painful death, said the hero. Insensitive voice. The answer is like a prepared dialogue. The hero reminded her of a ruthless killing machine. No, it doesn't even have any cruel feelings, it just executes orders, a puppet. Hanada looked at her expression and thought to herself. She also defeated her opponents without a trace of emotion. She felt that her former self was similar to the hero facing her now. Hanada held the tip of her katana straight in front of her eyes and confronted the hero. And, she prayed that Fritz and the children in the back would escape in time. When Yuki appeared just now, she noticed a barrier had been erected around the school. She believes that it also has the effect of hindering teleportation but they can get out with teleportation magic once they get out of the school. In the worst case scenario, if they ran to the door next to the saint's shrine, it would also be possible to teleport to the center using the teleport magic circle. Even if barriers were placed around the school, they could escape once they left that place. That's why Hanada wanted them to move quickly. However, it could be said that such an opportunity never occurred. But what Fritz and the others didn't realize was that Kagari was at the head of her army and was waiting in the schoolyard. Because it was only early in the morning, there were few people passing by. Although this is the time when students go to school, but because the dormitory is located far away from this place, it is quite empty. Even assuming he noticed the gathered men, they could somehow deal with him, the escape route through the schoolyard was blocked. Fritz didn't realize it, but he hesitated to trust his intuition and act. Everything happens in seconds. However, the result was that in those few seconds under a minute, all options were solved. Hanada turned all her attention towards the hero. It's not worth worrying about Fritz and the kids right now. What she should do now is eliminate the enemy right in front of her and buy time. Hanada clashed swords with the hero without paying any attention to the groaning Yuki, still clinging to the chair. A natural talent and effort. Hanada prided herself on her prowess near genius, the fact that she had never been defeated before until she succumbed to Rimuru. Not only in sword skills but also in the field of magic. Wind Zon, Hanada said. The magic that was activated without chanting along with the wind blades attacking the hero from all directions. Hanada's katana slashed towards the hero. In response, the hero ignored the wind blade and parried Hanada's katana with her own. Even though countless wind blades hit the hero's body, they all turned into particles of light and turned back into magical power. It was completely stopped by the absolute defense unique skill possessed by the hero. Hanada used countless spells, but all of them were stopped by absolute defense without taking any damage. Likewise, Hanada's sword skill was completely repelled as if the hero could have predicted it. More than that, Hanada's katana was completely shattered by a slash from the hero's katana. This was the third time. Is the difference in their swords? Or is it due to the difference between skills? Hanada's katana was easily broken by the hero's hand. Even though the sword would be renewed every time it broke, it completely showed Hanada's downfall. She had heard from various people about the hero's abilities, there was no indication of when the absolute separation unique skill was used. Even so, Hanada didn't panic. The hero's sword skill above hers. Magic is not good. Even so, Hanada didn't give up. She behaves graciously, and wait for the opportunity to come. The hero's egg germinated within her and the talent she possessed set her mind steady. Above all, because she had someone she wanted to protect and a place she had to return to. Little by little, Hanada's sword speed increased. Concentration gradually increases and a crack appears on the surface of the eggshell. Hanada running up to the pinnacle of existence is called a hero. I won't lose. Even if the opponent is an invincible hero. I will defeat you and I will surpass you. Take this melt slash, Hanada said. Hanada challenged the hero to a duel with the fastest, strongest technique she had. There are no tricks. The stimulation made the heart beat so fast that it was still unrecognizable. And, when she clashed with the hero's sword with explosions, she noticed an increase in her sword power. Each slash was extremely powerful as Hanada's full power was unleashed as the eggshell shattered. Return to Fritz. Fritz couldn't believe his eyes anymore. 
an overwhelming Hanada, an upper Hanada. To Fritz, Hanada is a symbol of justice that he adores. Even though she was defeated by demon lord Rimuru, he later realized that Hanada was more mature and stronger than before. The opponent was a hero much stronger than Hanada, who began to respond to Hanada's sword speed. Fritz's perception could no longer keep up with every single line earned. As expected of Hanada-sama, that's what happened in my mind. Slash melt, Hanada said. Hanada's attack was released and aimed at the hero. The next moment, hero can't lose because it's hero, you know. The existence called hero is strange, Yuki said. Yuki's whisper reached Fritz's ears. The voice sounded like a sage who had attained enlightenment but simply conveyed a simple truth. Too bad. I guess right, Hanada can't beat me. I wonder if it was Rimuru-san, would the result be different? Said Yuki. Yuki spoke as if he was conversing with someone in a faraway place. As if Fritz was not present. Fritz could not understand. Right before his eyes, he saw Hanada's form collapsing while vomiting blood after her heart was impaled by the hero's katana. His eyes saw but his mind refuted and refused to accept. You, UWA, said Fritz. Fritz didn't realize that the scream was coming from his own throat. However, reality was not shaken and the situation continued without regard for Fritz. It only took a moment for Fritz to understand this fact, back to Hanada. Forcing herself to win, harsh reality attacked Hanada again. The special sword skill that Hanada launched was overlapped with the hero. The technique is completely on the same level as Hanada's. But in terms of speed and strength, it is superior to Hanada's. Melting Slash The hero countered Hanada's technique with a technique similar to Hanada's. And although it acted later than Hanada, it caught up with Hanada's sword speed and with the power it had it broke Hanada's sword. The excess energy from the aftershock also cuts the whole dimension. The technique was activated along with the hero's unique technique of complete separation, surpassing Hanada in every way, from strength to skill. And, Hanada's heart was pierced without hesitation with a counterattack from the hero's katana. So is it done? No, not yet. There's still something I want to do. A hero is someone whose heart is undaunted. Hanada didn't give up and tried to get up. However, no, everything was arranged. She tried to use advanced healing magic but failed. She thought she heard someone. The voice of a crying girl choked. Well, I can still fight. At the very least, the children and Fritz were able to escape. Yes, that's fine. The kids can safely get away from there. Really? It is a relief. For some reason Hanada was relieved by the resounding words, Hanada vomited blood and collapsed on the spot. Even though he saw it, Fritz's mind denied and refused to accept the truth. You, UWA, said Fritz. Fritz rushed over to pick Hanada up while crying bitterly. The cold quickly spread throughout her body, and Hanada realized that her awareness had been awakened and within that paralyzed range of awareness made her think she could feel the warmth from Fritz. Ah, my life is over. Hanada realized that, so that, Fritz, this is in order. Because of the hero's attack just now, the void was opened. That means teleportation can now be used. Get out of here now, Hanada said. She desperately pushed away her almost unconscious body, and whispered in one breath. Hanada was out of luck. But, the children including Fritz were able to escape. Who just said that? Even though she might have misheard, what she said sounded like the truth. But still, Fritz said. This is in order. Fritz. I don't want to die in vain, okay? Hanada said. The child watching the negotiations, Kenya, UO, melting slash, Kenya said. Sparkling light was formed on Kenya's hand and condensed into a sword. And with that sword swinging down, Kenya used Hanada's technique by imitation after seeing Hanada use it just now. The eyes were dazzled by the light from the slash. Even though the hero's katana was able to block it, the slash successfully cut off a few of the hero's hairs and sent them flying through the air. At the same time Alice moved. The children cooperated perfectly using sympathy, Everyone was covered by the space manipulating magic system Alice had created. Including Hanada being hugged by Fritz after she received a stab from the hero. All of the above events happened in an instant. What remained after the light from Alice's space manipulation magic system disappeared were the two of them. Only Yuki and the unnamed hero remained. 
On the classroom floor was a pool of bright red blood that had not yet dried, which proved that the incident just now was true. Ah, I placed too many pieces, that's why they escaped, right? Yuki said. The hero did not respond to Yuki's mumbling. As if it was nothing, her expression wasn't so gloomy either. Still, everything goes according to schedule, right? So, everything is done. Shall we go home? Yuki said. Yuki showed no signs of worry, no sign of regret for failing. After Yuki told Kagari and her subordinates who were waiting in the courtyard to return. As if nothing had happened, he returned to the Freedom Association Central. The unsung hero who glanced back at the previously torn space recovered in an instant. The light of will appeared on her meager irises, the aura she radiated as if consciousness from another human had begun to emerge. So, things have begun now, said the hero. No one knew what the whisper meant. The hero turned on his heel and started walking after Yuki. Every step without hesitation and the doll-like expression until now had disappeared. What remained was just a pool of blood that could not speak. She heard her name called. Hanada broke her fading consciousness and listened to the echoes. Please don't go Hanada-sama, Nicholas said. Ah, that sounds so heartbreaking. I'm sorry Nicholas. Fritz too. I no longer hear anything. I can only judge based on tone, maybe wrong. Have you lived to the fullest? No. There's still something I haven't finished yet. Although I did find a place for me to return to after causing so much trouble, you know? Do you regret it? No, I have no regrets. If I have regrets, I will grieve for those I have sacrificed. Do you still want to live? I wonder which? I do not want to die? However, that is not possible. My heart was destroyed, and the magic didn't work. Nicholas and Fritz. She also felt the pain of the paladins who had worshipped her. However, there was nothing Hanada could do anymore. If she thought back, she was warned by her master Shizu-san in advance, was it her mistake to save the children? No, that's the right thing to do. I patted my chest proudly talking about it. After all, the incident happened just because the opponent overwhelmed her even though she took precautions. My body had stopped beating, it was in a state of inactivity in the vital organs. The brain waves had also stopped, it was now completely corpse-like. Because in this state, even with Nicholas's resurrection magic being used, resurrection would still be impossible. Resurrection is just a name, for it is still an incomplete magic. However, since she could hear their voices during the end, Hanada was satisfied. No, she had to be content, she thought to herself. Because she still had some unfinished business, she wanted to find and help those in need with her own eyes, but someone had already inherited this will. She was blessed because she didn't die when she made a mistake or when she thought she was being manipulated. At least, in the last moment she wanted to see him again, that was all her wish was. Before the little will of Hanada's soul vanished. I'm sorry, everything is arranged like that. Her soul will merge into yours. Finally, the hero egg that she possesses will definitely appear. Who is she? I'm Chloe. Chloe? Fifth child? Yes. Because of the hero's awakening, the people who could recognize her have disappeared. You will assimilate with me and become a true hero soon. What was born only the unknown hero. Everything has been set up in advance. Her defeat and her death. It sounds so annoying. That cannot be avoided. I realized what it was, and to collect her soul. I jumped into the past. Are things in the future also predetermined? No, what is intended to be that extension is unknowable. All I know is this moment, when the true hero awakens, that's all. By the time I drifted into the past, the hero who had overlapped existence had disappeared and had all its limits removed. That is, even though this is an existence due to the identification between you and me, it can be said that it is a different person. Even so, do you want to come with me? No, I want you to come with me. I got it, this is something that can be denied. But you can't refuse huh? Because a hero is someone whose heart is not easily discouraged. Rejection was now impossible with Hanada's personality, meaning that any possibility would disappear. More than anything, she was able to help Shizu-san and the others once more. Even though it was impossible, even she had calculated with mathematician unique skill, however she understood that the possibility for that was impossible. However, I can't help but pray. Because when you die, you give up and make the most of your life for everyone. Hanada accepted the offer. Thank you, she whispered to the little girl, Chloe. 
Hanada's and Chloe's souls merged into one and stepped through the barrier of time. Towards a distant past. Now, the endless journey of the girl named Chloe and Hanada begins. Nicholas confirmed Hanada's death and lamented. No matter how many times Easter was used, there was no response. Nicholas continued to chant in vain while hugging her tighter to warm his cold body that was getting colder and colder. Without realizing it, his arms were stopped by Fritz, but he pulled away. If you harass me I will kill you, he thought. Then, stopping Nicholas and Fritz, please stop it Nicholas Sama. Hanada Sama is gone, Leonard said. Calmly. Leonard who had assumed the position of commander of the Holy Knights reported back, but this was the cruel reality for Nicholas. What, it can't be. It's Hanada, you know? There's no way Hanada Sama would die, Nicholas said. Nicholas screamed. No one answered, Nicholas's words sounded hollow. Nicholas understands. He just didn't want to have to accept it. In the world full of miracles, here he prayed for a miracle from God. That day, the death of the former leader of the Holy Knights Hanada Sakaguchi was confirmed. This is the beginning of the chain of events that follows. Hanada's death marked the outbreak of chaotic time in this world. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Please support me one subscription.